Hey everybody, excuse the state of my craft room and my hair. It has been a long day of crafting, but I am finally to a project that I've been looking forward to and I wanted to stop and take a second to share it with you. So for Thanksgiving this year, uh, as name place cards, I'm creating custom ornaments, not custom personalized ornaments for everybody in my family who will be here for Thanksgiving. I don't want them to look like Thanksgiving, um, they're going to look very Christmassy, so it's going to be a little tricky to put Christmas ornaments on a Thanksgiving table and make it all tie together, but I think I can do it. And so I grabbed some white glass ornaments and I grabbed some gold matte foil vinyl and I'm going to start at my Cricut just uh, to create the names that are going to go on this and then I'm going to finish it off with some really colorful ribbon and I think it's going to look nice. We'll see. So I'm really loving the Sunfall font. I have a Creative Fabrica membership, and so I am going to download this font for free. I played around with my family's names to make sure that I liked it, because sometimes the font is nice, but some of the letters look wonky, and I actually really do like this font. Well, I like the font. I'm, I think it's really kind of girly, feminine font, and so I'm only using it for the women in the family, and then for the men, I think I'm gonna do maybe um, a monogram or something like that but for the women I think it I think it looks really pretty so now um, I'm gonna send this to cut waiting for this to finish is always the hardest part there are many tricks and many tools for weeding vinyl but this is my preferred way just got my weeder and this is what I use to collect the scraps of vinyl as I pull them off I'm coming in for a quick voiceover for this part just to share that while I really like the Sunfall font that I used for this project, it is thin. So it does require a lot of work and a little bit of patience. Maybe it's a little bit of work and a lot of patience in order to get it weeded without it ripping. So I placed the names on all of the bulbs and I spared you that part because it did take some time to get everything to lay flat and wrap well. In the end, they're all flat and they look really pretty. And now I'm just gonna rifle through all of my ribbon. Most of this I buy on clearance. You'll see a lot of orange stickers in here. I also buy these variety packs like that's in this plastic bag. But I'm just gonna make some quick decisions about different colors and styles of ribbon that I wanna use because I want each of these to be unique to the person that I'm creating it for. And there will be some common things, like each one of them will have this wiry tinsel ball looking ribbon because it's really pretty and festive and it'll just tie everything together, including the gold foil that I used for the names. And a little bit later on, I'm also going to grab some various tools that I have and use that as the larger bow and the piece to cover up all of the ribbon knots. You'll see what I mean. And right now I'm just trying to figure out the best way to get everything to lay well on this. And I do go through all four ornaments, tying ribbons on individually in different places. I'm not gonna put you through that. I'm actually gonna fast forward and show you the best way that I found to make the ribbon lay well and to cover it up nice and neat. Um, and I wish I had realized this earlier on because I spent a lot of time adding ribbon and then ended up having to take it all back off for all four of these. So that was interesting. And so now the cool part about video is that I can skip over the painful lesson and just show you the easy way that I found after a lot of trial and error with these four to get the ribbon to lay well, to look nice, and then to have a polished finished look. And so that is by actually tying everything in the center and then tying it, tying each ribbon on top of the other. And I'll show you what I mean by that here in just a second. And I will say the Rick Rack is a little bit harder to tie, but the zigzag appearance just adds a lot to these ornaments. So don't be discouraged if it's hard to tie. But so notice right here, I'm bringing it up and I just tie it over the center 
of the ribbon that was before it and it doesn't add a lot of bulk or at least it didn't for me because I didn't use just a ton of ribbon. I used like three or four different ribbons per ornament. I think probably if you did more than that um, it might bulk up a little bit too much. I didn't experiment enough with it to know for sure. But when you tie it over top of each other like this, each side of the ornament gets a little bit of ribbon. It's really, really nice. A smart person probably would have chosen all of the ribbon beforehand, but I'm in my element here. I'm just having a good time, and I rarely get to use my ribbon, so this is even more fun for me because I w I've been wanting to use it. I do buy it mostly on clearance, and so I don't always have an idea for what I want to use any of this for, and I hate to have wasted craft supplies. So. I'm really filling my bucket here on this one. See how nice it looks when you just tie things, tie the ribbons one on top of the other, and then finish it off with a piece of tulle. And I cut, I don't know, maybe a foot of tulle. I probably was a little bit excessive, but I wanted to make sure that I had enough. Um, it's way better than not having enough and finding that out all too late. So I thread it through underneath all of the ribbons and then I only needed to really tie it one time at the top. Now you could secure this with hot glue or a stitch or something if you felt like you needed to. I feel like it's pretty sturdy. So I didn't add any glue or anything. Now here's the kicker. You're going to really want to trim this short and I encourage you to leave it a little bit long. The extra fluff is really, really pretty. I did cut one too short and have to redo it. And again I just try to leave them a little bit long I think you'll really like the the fluffy appearance so I made each one slightly different but they all turned out really great this is mine Brandy Gale I like the bright colors and so I played a little bit more with it with some yellow polka dot and turquoise tulle this one is my mom's Melanie K um, I just feel like the colors suit her and they're pretty. I don't think she's ever told me her favorite color. She has some lavender tulle at the top, kind of hard to tell in this lighting. My youngest daughter, Brooke Lorin, she likes green and she likes pink, but she also has a history of that peachy orange color too. So I added that for her. And then Brittany K, my oldest daughter, really loves a pale pink. I didn't have any. So hopefully she likes that. You know, you never can really predict what a project is going to end up like once it's in your head or in your inspiration and you actually put it out on your craft table. But these turned out really cute and I really like them. I think it was fun to make some personalized ornaments for all the girls who are going to be sitting around our Thanksgiving table this year. And, you know, for the guys, I think monograms and twine probably. I think I'll forego the colorful ribbon and just try to make something really simple that they'll like. And I'll probably post it here on YouTube, but if I don't and you're looking for it, then you might be able to find it across one of my social channels. I tend to post most things that I create here in my craft studio across one social channel or the other. So I hope this inspires you to make some colorful Christmas ornaments for the people in your life, and I'll see you next time.